It is week four in the National Football League, and for the third time in four games, the Washington Commanders are taking their show on the road, this time in Glendale, Arizona, against the Arizona Cardinals. The Washington Commanders now at two and one on the season, looking for that third straight win. I'm Chick Hernandez here, and wouldn't you know it, I've been trying to dodge the sun. We've got all kinds of technical issues, but it's a bright, shiny day, 114 degrees yesterday. It's 108 degrees, but they'll be inside State Farm Arena in just a short while. Let me check in with my guys back in the studio. <laughs> Wisdom Martin and the man, the myth, the legend, or legend. See, it's tough when you're talking the heat. Sean Springs. Fellas, good morning to you. Uh, I will tell you this. It's supposed to be a short work week because it's a Monday night to a Sunday game. It feels like I've been here for two weeks. It's been a long time. Yeah, it has been a long time. And we're talking about how, how dressed up and how nice you yeah. look so early in the morning, Chick. What's, what's the deal? You. Thank you. What's, yeah, what's, what's up with that? that? I also appreciate the, the sun coming off. We were, we were once in the shade, and now I'm going to burn. I'm going I'm to be a little raisin by the end of the show. Well, Chick, we, were gonna, we were, knew you were going to complain about the sun. We wonder if you canceled your, uh, your golf uh, outings because of the heat. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I got my golf in. Uh, what, what didn't work? What didn't work was the teleprompter. We, 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 okay, it's okay. frozen up now, which is pretty cool. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right, well, you know, we'll take it while y'all get that worked out. All right. Hey, uh, good to see you, uh, Chick. Good to see you, Sean, as always. Yep. Uh, you know what? Monday night was amazing. I texted you, and I was like, wow, yeah. what is going on? It was, it was an amazing performance, 91% completion rate yeah. by our quarterback. Turns out he was the offensive player of the week. I mean, this was amazing. So, Sean, when you have something like this happen to you as a player, when you're moving forward, is that in the back of your mind? You're like, oh, look what I did last week, or do you just erase it and move forward? Or no, is it somewhere in between. No, no, first of all, you did text me, and I probably didn't text, but I was in shock. <laughs> you know, but we had talked a week before yes. that it, there needed to be an effort to go mm -hmm. to Cincinnati and beat those guys on Monday night. But here's the thing. When you see an effort like that from Jaden Daniels yeah. and the way you know he connected with Terry and what he was doing out there, this guy's the real deal. He is we got the us real a, deal. We, I, I'm buying it. We got yeah. a quarterback in Washington, so <laughs> right. so the performance he put on is not a fluke. So mm -hmm. he that was just him being Jaden, the quarterback we expected to be when we drafted him number two overall. And guess what? We got a quarterback going forward, and I think he's going to continue to perform like right, that. Right, right. And I was also impressed by the coach, and it looked like yeah. they put him in a position to succeed on the national stage. Is that what you took away from well, this as well? Well, I think the, the, the coaching staff, and Coach uh, Clingsbury and Coach Quinn, have been talking all year. We've mm -hmm. given him what he can handle. We're letting Jaden beat Daniel, keeping the game plan simple, right. easy for him to understand. Right. And just if you don't see the first or second read, take off, run, do what yeah. you do. We want you to slide. Yeah. Right. But. It's, it's just been correction each week and he's going to continue to get better. Right. All right. Speaking of all that, uh, one area of improvement that you say they need to work on, you think they need to work on right now? We got to get, some, st we get some stops. Mm -hmm. We got to get some stops on defense. The right. offense looked great against Cincinnati, but we, we haven't forced people to punt the ball a lot. Right. We got to get some stops and we got to start getting some turnovers. Yes. So, so far, we only have one turnover the whole season. That's right. One turnover. That's, yeah. a, that's amazing. All right. All right. So, uh, we want to get back out to Chick right now and uh, – you know, so we can fill us in and what's going on. We had to let him cool down just a little bit. He got his towel. He probably got There's some no, water. No, no, no. There's no chance of cooling down. No, oh, okay. Are you kidding me? All right. You are in Arizona. Be, come so, on. Yeah. Chick, why didn't you put on a golf shirt, I, man? You should have put on a golf shirt and just to stay cool. I should have. I should have. I, well, I thought I'd be indoors in a nice, cool atmosphere, but apparently we had a snafu. Um, am I venting right now? <laughs> yes, you are. Yes, yes you are. Couldn't quite get into the, couldn't quite get into the stadium on time. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm gonna do the old John Thompson thing with the towel and get it going. Okay. Uh, but yeah, no, it's 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 a uh, look. It's gonna be great. Uh, I, I I hope that uh, the Washington defense shows up. Uh, I, I assume that the Washington offense will show up. But one of the things that was key here, at least for Dan Quinn, was to bring his squad. <laughs> straight from Cincinnati to Arizona. A lot of times you might come back home real quick, spend two days, and then jet right back out. But he had a plan on why going from Cincinnati to Arizona would work. We just wanted to make sure we could just stay in this pocket together. Um, it's a long flight back after a Monday night back to Virginia, and then on a West Coast you know, time zone, we would leave on a Friday. So imagine getting in Tuesday, turn around, get back on a Friday. So uh, we've had some trips together where we just stay in this pocket of getting better and get here, get settled, and then start getting ready. And uh, so it's been effective, and, and that's the whole goal of this thing, to get the guys mentally, physically ready to go for Sunday. And what's the best way to do that? We thought the best way is to leave right from Cincinnati and come right here to Arizona. 
Yeah, what's cool about it is, uh, guys, they practiced uh, in a bubble. You can watch my weekly conversations with the head coach, Dan Quinn, on Washington, excuse me, WSA 9 Plus. You can see it, the entire interview <laughs> right there. Uh, I will tell you this, fellas, they practiced in the bubble uh, on the campus at Arizona State University. Uh, so it kind of simulates what's going on here at State Farm as we send it back to you. Keys to the game is sponsored by your Washington area Toyota dealers. All right, it is time for keys to the game right now. And Sean, we look ahead to, to yep. the afternoon game against Arizona and the three keys that the commanders need for victory. And the first one we're going to talk about, Kyler Murray. Yes. Who has been, I mean, they're, they're one and two, but he's been pretty good this year. And that connection with Marvin Harrison is really good. He's, oh. Harrison's a rookie. He came out against the Rams. Kyle, uh, Kyle, so this is key. Oh, that's key. Kyler Murray, it, yeah, I mean, this guy's like a magician back mm -hmm. there, you know. He's, He's not big in stature, but he's big in heart. And he's back there scrambling around for nine, eight, nine seconds to complete a right, pass. Right. So you have to contain him because he, he, he can also run. He looks to pass when he runs, but he also had a 27-yard uh, rush earlier. But, he, I mean, he can throw on a run. So if our defense is not containing Kyler Murray, it mm -hmm. will be a problem. Right, a huge problem. All right, number two. You said we got to run the ball well, and there's no Austin Eckler. B. Rob right. is going to have to shoulder the load today. Right, because when you think about, you know, the great performance that Dayton had, mm -hmm. the Arizona Cardinals are going to make sure that they can keep the ball in front of them and everything and keep everything and keep, keep Jaden from giving explosive plays, right? So now what do we have to do? Make sure that B. Rob is involved in the game. Make sure that we get that 100 yards, taking the pressure off the, the deep ball or be able to set up the deep ball because now that hammer is hitting it in there mm -hmm. and we're running the ball well will be robbed right and the third one we talked about this so far t turnovers and takeaways yes uh, so far we don't have any turnovers on offense and we only have one takeaway and we're heading to the next week of the season so we got to we got to get, get on, on yeah, top of that we, we have to figure it out you know one thing that not get off uh, you have just can't stop them on third down and mm -hmm. not forcing teams to punt but we have to figure out how to get the ball mm -hmm. not turn it over but get the ball right and I, either there's Forbes is back even though he's coming off with them and and we and Colin Merrick's gonna present some opportunities to, to give you some interceptions and stuff but guys we have to get the ball to win mm -hmm. this game so some kind of way, some yep. kind of way we got to get that ball. Yep. All right, let's go back out to Chick right now. Hopefully he's, I know it's only been a few minutes. Hopefully you've cooled down a little bit. He uh, hasn't. He, you, but he's still sweating. You know look, look, at the, look at the glare on his head. I know, that glare. Look but he, he's always glaring and he's always normally cool. Yeah, so that's but, true. Yeah, so there you what go. What do you mean? Yeah, normally cool. Yes, yeah, <laughs> normally cool. <laughs> oh, boys, if you could only see what's going on around here. Uh, <laughs> all right, look, so uh, we're talking about that Washington offense uh, being uh, efficient, uh, and they certainly have. Uh, been efficient, uh, as efficient as the temperatures here. What, by the way, I'm gonna take you behind the scenes. I'm not sure what is going on with this teleprompter right now. It, it's it's in a it's in a whole new mode here. So let me just take you to how efficient uh, the Commanders' offense is. Uh, and for the last two games, they have scored on every possession besides the kneel downs. Jaden Daniels, two games where Commanders have scored on every drive. Tom Brady. Drew Brees, Peyton Manning, and Patrick Mahomes, all current or fort future Call of Fame quarterbacks. By the way, they have two combined, two combined. Jaden Daniels has two of those instances in two of the last three weeks. Now, let's pump the brakes. Jaden Daniels is good, but he's a long way off from those guys. So there's one other guy who's pretty good. He's not that efficient right now because he's not doing anything. That's the Trunner Press I said press. Tress way. So I asked the head coach, DQ, should Tress give part of his contract back? Hey, uh, right now for two games, he's been a hell of a holder, and we appreciate that. <laughs> and uh, I'm sure his punting time is coming, but uh, in the meantime, uh, he can he can keep that extra as a bonus. You're not doing a whole lot right That's now. That's okay. Yeah, but yeah. he said he, you're the greatest holder of all time. This wow. Is the, this is the holder slash. Punter, yeah, I did. Dress I, I, I did punt at one at one time. Yeah, time. and and I'm ready ready to go in case it ever happens again. But this is a lot of fun right so now. So is the left leg like so fresh right now? It is pretty fresh. Yeah. Um, you know, we were out of practice, and I was like, man, I feel pretty good. <laughs> and it also felt like I hadn't done this in a long time. All right. In case you're wondering, by the way, Tressway makes three. Uh, I mean, it's for getting to his personal business, three million dollars per year. Uh, so you could sort of extrapolate that. Uh, you know, maybe he's maybe give a little back. No, it's a look. He's one of the great punters in the game, one of the great holders uh, in the game. So we'll, we'll see if he punts today. He is part of our uh, 
buying or selling later on in the show. What's next, Thomas, as we get ready for uh, more of Commander's kickoff? So defensively, certainly the Commanders ha have struggled. Uh, it's been an issue uh, for the Washington Commanders. Look, they gave up 448 total yards, 33 points the last game out against Cincinnati. So there's some issues there, and the D.C. Joe Witt Jr. knows it. We haven't played the, the brand of football that I was hoping for up until this point. And like I said, that's that's on me. Um, we want to be a, a team that produces the ball. We haven't. Um, now the hitting, well, I think we're hitting the way that we want to. But, you know, we talk about um, energy um, creating ball, and we're not we're not necessarily doing that all the way. So this is not the style that, that I envision right now, but we're trending that way. All right, and uh, he's going to get uh, Emmanuel Forbes uh, back uh, for this game. He's missed the last two games. Uh, maybe I'll uh, ask the, the cornerback in the studio later on the show about Emmanuel Forbes. But for now, Joey Jr. has this defense that does not have an identity. We are here in Arizona, which, by the way, was the former, I don't know, I guess the birth of Jaden Daniels when it comes to his college football career. He played three years here at Arizona State. We'll talk about that and much more coming up on Commander's Kickoff. Catches up with Scary Terry to talk 